scoop pour scoop Day 19 on the 28 day challenge, and guess what we're doing? We're opening up with Rip's Big Bowl. I've showed you this multiple times. You guys gotta learn this at some point in time. Scoop and pour, you put a banana in, add some other fruit if you want, you're good to go, okay? So, I'm gonna put some unsweetened almond milk on this, and I'm gonna chow down on this. We're probably gonna head to the beach, and we'll be back here for lunch. Okay, it's lunchtime, and do you see all these beautiful ingredients? We have beautiful mushrooms, beautiful limes, beautiful tomatoes, beautiful potatoes, beautiful, what are these things? Peppers. Peppers. <laughs> beautiful onions. So, and garlic and avocado. What are we making? We're making a soup today. We're making a Mexican lime soup. Engine two soup. So, we got all these ingredients, we're gonna put them all together with our vegetable stock, and we're gonna throw it on the skillet, I'm um, excuse me, in the pot, and soup it up. Hey, that's like what you do to a car. <laughs> all right. Okay, so now it's a Mexican lime soup. So of course, you gotta have a lime. Squeeze your lime in. Oh my eye! Okay, I'm just kidding. Okay, now that we've finished it up, it's in the bowls. I've added a little cilantro. I'm gonna add some tomato. Just, you know, just for color. Bam! I like now. I like them apples. They're not apples, they're tomatoes. Don't confuse them. Although that might be good. I can see that being good. Okay, so as you can see, I got my side salad here. Won't go over the details of that again. It's got my avocado, which I didn't show you guys, but I threw that in there. And then I got some of our homemade, or home cut, like uh, tortillas, strips. We're gonna throw those in. Maybe a few more. I like a lot. I can't, I'm not tell you. There, do that. Dig in, and we're good to go. I think we're gonna go walk around Santa Barbara, so maybe you guys will see some of that. If there's nothing interesting, we'll cut it out completely, and it'll just be snap and dinner time. <laughs> we'll see. So, when Danielle and I first started dating, one of the first places I ever took her on a date was to the Cold Spring Tavern. And it's in the middle of nowhere, north of Santa Barbara, up in the mountains. You'd never know there was anything back here. Definitely not a nice restaurant. And uh, you just kind of like come back in here and it's an old stagecoach stop that's been converted into a dinner restaurant. And uh, I think back then I had a New York pepper steak, which I just looked on the menu, it was like 25 bucks. Yeah, big spender, right? And Danielle probably had chicken because she always had chicken. But we were inside just now and talked to uh, the maitre d' and asked him about other options. He's like, oh, we can make something uh, vegetarian for you or if you want salads, we can make salads. We can do whatever if it's on the menu. So if you're interested in a place that's kind of off the beaten path, call, you know, try the Cold Spring Tavern. It's a cool place, very cool atmosphere. And uh, ask the maitre d' or ask the chef to make you something different because everything else on the menu is steak, fish, chicken, fish, steak, steak, shrimp, chicken, you know, the normal artery clogging, heart attack type foods. <laughs> well, check it out. I think it's a cool date place. Don't you guys think so? 
So it's dinner time, and uh, as you can tell, we're making what? Mac not cheese. That's right, you guys are catching on. You guys are doing so good. So we're having mac not cheese. We gotta saute the onions. We're doing a little bit less onion than we did in our first time, but um, still needs a decent amount. So we're gonna do that. And uh, we gotta do the pasta next. We got our whole grain, whole wheat, elbow pasta. But we're gonna go for a knee, but we decided to go for the elbow. We're working our way up the body. You know what I mean? We're gonna do that, and then uh, throw it in here, cook it up, make that good old uh, dressing type dip thing, cheese sauce, whatever, and uh, put it all together, and uh, we'll show you what it looks like. So in order to make that cheese sauce, we got cashews, lemon juice, and onions. And now people are asking, especially people who aren't plant strong people, they're like, Dude, that is so weird. Like, that is not cheese sauce. I don't care what you say. But all you have to do is ask them, say, well, your cheese sauce was made in a factory with a bunch of guys in lab coats, injecting a bunch of chemicals that came from some pharmaceutical company in order to make your cheese sauce. Or, if it actually is real cheese, then you can say, hey, all you're doing is eating something that was made for a small baby cow and not made for you, and then you took that and you put it in some uh, dry cellar someplace and let it ferment before they like scraped it off and melted it down and made your cheese sauce. So, I don't know, is this weird? It seems totally normal to me compared to that, right? Okay, and after you make, mix all that stuff up, what we have now is we want that color, the color that people associate with cheese, right? You know, this yellow-orange, right? So, we went ahead and added some nutritional yeast, right? And we added some uh, roasted red peppers. And so, you got your yellow and red, what does it make? Okay, come on art students, you know this by now, yellow and red, what does it make? Yeah, that's right, it makes cheese. <laughs> cheese color. So, uh, we're gonna mix this up and hopefully we'll have cheese colored cheese sauce for our Mac not cheese. Okay, so I just drained this. I'm gonna take this and put it in our cheese colored sauce, right? So, now you see it all mixed up, right? That looks pretty mixed. And now, I'll take this and put it in here. Even it out a bit. And we'll throw it in the oven. Look at that. Done. Okay, so here it is, the finished product, our baked <clears throat> Excuse me, baked macaroni and nut cheese and our broccoli. And um, we are gonna dig into this and eat and uh, we're, we're going strong. It's uh, the end of week three or nearing the end of week three. We're going into week four. We feel healthy and strong. We're not eating you know, a ton between meals. We snack on a fruit here and there, but for the most part, these are very, very filling meals and healthy for you and good tasting so it's been great um so we love for you guys to comment and uh subscribe if you haven't subscribed and uh if you guys have any questions or concerns or anything then comment below sound good all right we'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs>